not all Sabbaths fall on Saturday. There are Sabbaths that can fall on any day of the week. It allows three days and three nights. If he died on a Wednesday afternoon and was buried at the beginning of Thursday, three days and three nights, exactly before Mary Magdalene comes to the tomb, he resurrected at the end of Saturday on that particular event. That's why the belief of the Catholic Church that the Lord Jesus Christ died on a Friday is not true. It is not biblical. And all the rituals, the eating of meat is not allowed on Good Friday. You cannot even take a bath. Some superstitions have crept in. You cannot jump. You cannot laugh. So many superstitious beliefs that follow, which is prohibited by the Bible. Now, those are crazy teachings. I'm sorry to say this. These are crazy teachings because they are not biblical. They are not biblical. Let us read the verse to prove that the Lord Jesus Christ did not resurrect on Sunday. Matthew chapter 28, verse 1. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulcher. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning, and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. You see, he is risen. He is not here. So the Lord Jesus Christ was not there on the beginning of Sunday, at the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week. So, at the end of the Sabbath, the beginning of the first day of the week, the Lord Jesus Christ is not there already. So, it will allow three days and three nights if the Lord Jesus Christ died on a Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon at three o'clock and was buried by Joseph of Arimathy before sunset. Because that day that he was buried is a preparation for the Sabbath. At sunset, it will be the Sabbath. They cannot bury him anymore. So Joseph of Arimathea hurriedly wrapped him in a cloth and buried him before sunset. So he was at the sepulcher, at the tomb, on exactly the beginning of Thursday. And that will allow three days when he resurrected before the dawn of the first day of the week. There were two Sabbaths that year because the preparation of Sabbath, Wednesday, the Thursday is a Sabbath because there are different kinds of Sabbaths among the Jews. The misunderstanding lies on the fact that because the Catholic Church have read the Sabbath, they presume it to be Saturday. So Jesus died on a Friday because the Sabbath is Saturday. But it is not true. Not all Sabbaths fall on Saturday. There are Sabbaths that can fall on any day of the week. Those are the yearly Sabbath observed by the Jews, especially the Passover Sabbath. And according to John in chapter 19, verse 31 of the book of John, it reads, The Jews, therefore, because it was the preparation that the bodies should not remain upon the cross on the Sabbath day, for that Sabbath day was a high day. You see, that Sabbath day was a high day. It's not an ordinary Saturday. It was a high day, a very important Sabbath, and it occurs once a year during the observance of the Passover. There is a Sabbath every year during the observance of the Passover. And that year, according to biblical scholars, that year the Sabbath appeared on a Thursday. When the Lord Jesus Christ died, the Sabbath, that yearly Sabbath, appeared on a Thursday. So there were two Sabbaths, Thursday, then 
Friday, then Saturday, another Sabbath, he resurrected just after the second Sabbath on that week. So, you see, this is a very interesting topic, but uh, we cannot just show everything on our broadcast because we have to show the Hebrew calendar, the event that happened on that year. We have to trace back which year the Lord Jesus Christ died because if you are going to trace back the history of the Roman calendar, you will find out that the Roman calendar lacks about five or six years if you are going to study. Let us get that info from the Zenith International News Agency. Let us read. When Dionysius Exigus computed the date of Christ's birth in the Middle Ages, he named the year of the Nativity 1 AD and stated that Jesus' birth date was December 25 of that year. The year immediately before this was the year 1 BC. Whether from mathematical ignorance or design, he did not include a year zero. To complicate matters further, it seems that Dionysius made an error in his calculations. Hero the Great, who the Bible says was alive at the time of Christ's birth, died in the year 4 BC, based on the reports of Josephus. According to the Gospel of Matthew, when Herod was unable to trick the astrologers into leading him to the child, he ordered the slaughter of all the male babies in Bethlehem. Since Herod's command, which is not attested outside the Gospels, but is consistent with his historical character, was to kill all babies under age two, this event occurred no more than two years after Christ's birth. If we assume that this happened near the end of Herod's life, which seems likely, this puts Christ's birth in the year 5 or 6 BC. How can he order the slaughter of children two years old below in 1 AD or 2 AD when he died in 4 BC? So the Roman calendar is lacking something like five or six, six years. years. That is the point there. That's why Semana Santa is a big hoax. 